Hopefully this spot works, because I'm about to drill a hole in them out. Okay. You went Weird it still works, especially without the car running. Uh, don't give me a line to you, I'm just lying to you. How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I think today we're gonna work on me out again. Uh, these things have the oil pressure gauge on the inside is basically just an on off you either have oil pressure or you don't um, i don't like that bugs me so i bought a few things uh i don't know how well you can see that with the glare and whatnot um i don't know pressure gauge i bought some grommets what's the number on that there there's the number on that um and I recommend buying some copper line. Uh, these usually, which I don't know, they come with like a plastic line that is don't use because if it melts, then you just spray oil everywhere. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to get. But anyways, we're gonna try to get that on the car today. So. Let's get after it. All right. So the first thing we got to decide is we're gonna have to go through that firewall. Um, let me see if I can show you where this thing is at. Anyways, there you go. Now you can see that clip and that screw down there. That's where it's located, which is you know not easy to get to. Anyways. Uh, Looks like that's not going to be easy to get to. It does look like you can get to it from the wheel well. Sort of, kind of. So we're going to have to lift it up. Um, one of the first things I want to decide is where we're going through. And I've kind of looked. I might end up poking a hole around this area. Here somewhere, maybe lower. Uh, I think I'd kind of like to get it high though so I can run it along these then you know but I think I'm gonna start inside the car and that lighting is terrible sometimes anybody knows what causes that I think it's something to deal with the LEDs how they're on I don't know, I don't know. anyways we're gonna try to figure out from the inside where we can poke that through first um, get the gauge set and then run it out here and it's not easy but that's where we're gonna start okay. all right anyways let's see if i can't get me you and the light down in here so those lines up there those aluminum lines going through the firewall um that's where you seen the lines on the other side for the heater core. So we're going somewhere there. But I'm gonna get that marked because uh we can't all fit down here in the floorboard of a Miata. So I'll get back to you when I'm done. Alright. So basically I think I've decided I'm gonna go right about here by these heater core lines. I think it'd be the easiest way to get up where I want to be. Um, so we need to find. So we need to find the right drill bit, whatnot. Uh, that's going to determine all this. So, all right. like I said, it's going to depend on all this. Yeah, look, it looks like they have a grommet. That's cool. Well, that's cool. I wasn't paying attention to that. Apparently the copper line comes with one. Yeah. Yeah. So does this one fit? Yeah, it pretty much fits. I don't know if that'll come by on camera. Here, let me see if I can make it. You can tell the one on the right's got a little more meat in the center. Um, the this one the hole's a little smaller, but this one still fits snug. There. Man, they're about the same. But I like this has more meat on it. Uh, it's likely to chafe and eventually be cutting on the metal. 
That means we need to find a drill bit. Hopefully this spot works, because I'm about to drill a hole in the out. It's okay. It'll be all right. I mean, let's put a plug in it, I guess. All right. Okay. Sure. And yes, there's insulation stuff in there. Now can we get this thing in there without losing her? Ain't no way. Need a file. All right. Now getting this little tiny grommet in here is gonna be impossible. I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna bet. Cause see, a lot of times these all bend them in half like that and then fit them in there. It's too small to do that. Um. Uh, I ain't no room. See if screwdriver will help me. Uh, don't drop it. I don't want to have to go find it. God dang it. Cram prod poke. <sighs> Stuff in the back's in the way. Try to get that out of the way. Alright. Got another grommet. Got it in there. Kind of a pain. It's okay though. Now I gotta get this copper line. And get it crammed through all the way to where the gauge goes. So, uh, I'll take you out there. Talk to you easier when you're out here, right? Uh, this copper line's fairly easy to bend. Just don't go crazy with it. Uh, you're not trying to make really sharp bends, stuff like that. You'll kink it. Uh, well, like I said, it's. Fairly easy to deal with. It's not bad. Don't really need to be afraid of this stuff. It is it easier to run the plastic? Yeah. But like I said, then you'll know, just spray all your oil everywhere and then low oil pressure and we know where all that leads to. So anyway. Got some silicone. Yeah. Spray it spray all the engine back. I'm just gonna spray this line. Actually, I'm probably gonna. That silicone spray ain't gonna hurt nothing. We'll get it crammed in here. And I gotta go inside and pull that through. So. Alright. Oh. I've gotten the copper line ran. Um. An idiot. It's all right, but I touched my, you know, this button starts it. You went. You know, when you're laying on the floorboard, you can't see stuff. Right. Anyway, I'm gonna open this up now. Uh, these are decent gauges. I haven't had any problems with them. Uh, this may be replaced with a different gauge later. Uh, yeah, I might. Probably. This is what I was talking about. This stuff. Yeah. Easier to run, but if that touches exhaust, you know, and this is poking out, you know, kind of near the exhaust. This touched anything hot. Yeah. By the time you notice you've sprayed all your oil out, you're probably in trouble. Uh, that's weird. I guess that's how you change the color. That's dumb. It can do different colors. Looks like it's caps. What colors are there? It says red, green, and blue. Red, green, and blue. So that's standard color then I guess is just what it is. I don't know. I probably ain't gonna put those caps on. If I want to, I'll do it later. Uh, I want some black gauges. I just haven't decided on it. So we're using this. Uh, they're not bad, like I said. Anyway, uh, how does this come out? I don't know how the white thing comes out. I don't know. 
Anyway, as far from what I'm concerned about, I don't really even need a light on it. Okay, so the way these things work, you got a little crush sleeve thing. So this goes on here, crush sleeve goes on there, pointy end that way. At least I believe it's pointy end that way. No, it's not. Don't give me a line to you. I just lied to you. Uh, you can kind of tell when you look at them. The inside of this is flat. Inside of that is a cone. So we need to go that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So opposite of what I just told you. No bad. So go that way. Oh, yeah. I'm also not sure if I want it here or there. Why are you being picky? Here you go. How far up in there can that go? Fairly far. We're gonna run it all the way. Um, yep. God dang it. If you, uh, if it's not letting you tighten it, it's because your copper's bent. It's bent here, it's bent it. Now that's all there. I need a wrench, because I'm an idiot. I have a wrench. Probably hold on to both sides, right? right? Okay. Can't really show you that now, but it's okay. It's got a it that way. I hate twisting against the gauge. But this wasn't gonna work. Even though it's thin. Whatever. Uh Probably hook them lights up later. I'm not too concerned about some lights. Uh, we'll have to get that sucked in there. So, uh, I'm gonna pull that out of there. I can't see what I'm doing. That's not gonna work. Here, I'll show you what I'm looking at. Well, that's not gonna work. So you see that piece of metal in there? I got that copper line run on this side of it. Well, when I push that cop push this in there, it's gonna not allow the copper line to go anywhere. So I probably need to get that behind that piece of metal. Mm, great. So I'm gonna go do that. Uh, you get the point. But I had to have my wife help me get it to where it is because you have to like have somebody pushing the line. So well, I'll redo that and get back with you. All right. So I got it re-ran. Um, was an idiot anyways. I forgot to put this on. Uh, you may notice this is backwards. Uh, the threads are on one side of it, they're not all the way through, and it runs into this mounting I have here. So, you know, that's how it's on there. It'll be alright. Here, pick you up here. See if we can get this crammed in there. Um, may or may not run the lighting later. Lighting's not my concern, really. in there. Uh, I need to pull on the pull on the copper line a little bit. Uh, which is always fun getting under here. There we go. There we go. Also gotta make sure it's not touching stuff. I don't want it to be touching. Run that up there. I like it. I like it. Huh. This uh yeah, I guess I'm not really this anymore. This cluster here is I don't remember where I bought it from, but you can get like 3D printed ones and stuff online. 
Um, I think they're meant to go below the stereo, but I just flip flopped. Um, reason I like that is because, you know, I know you're not supposed to rest your hand on your shifter, but if I need to, I can, you know, I can reach it better. Uh, it's more comfortable that way. Then you can see your gauge is better. That's how I ran it, okay? Anyway, now we can head under the hood. All right, so we're back under the hood. Uh, I'm gonna try to use some zip ties. See if we can't get this kind of more where we need it to be, all right? Just bend on it. I kind of want it, well, no, I kind of want it underneath anyway, so. Yeah, because that's where I have that line ran to. Okay. So, we're going to run you pretty well straight up. Straight up and along this. I'm going to try to get her kind of kind of looking nice, you know. I don't want to just tie it straight to it. I ought to do what I ought to do. Let's do the the old spark plug trick, eh? If I can. So we're going around the item, then between the two. Yeah. Little sparky plug trick here. Cut all them tails off later. But that'll help hang that there where it doesn't you know hit stuff and rub a hole in that copper line that was definitely not what we want all right i'm do parking used i don't you know sometimes i don't know how far you can see there we go. so we're gonna do one down here or well no oop here come on come on now and again another one can't yep. that one's forever down in the car somewhere hopefully it doesn't melt onto something yep 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 yep, yep. back up here Perfect. We're just gonna keep trying to curve her along this here line. That's the same thing I did to that other line that's for, you know, things we don't speak of. So we definitely, <clears throat> like I said, don't want this to pop because that means oil goes everywhere. We'll do everything we can for that not to happen. It's looking pretty good. I like it. All right. Now, what should I follow? I just follow this over here. Here, we'll switch it up. Can we clip on to? There we go. So I think now you can't see, but these lines go down behind it right here. Come on. Try to follow those now. Nope. I don't think it likes staying there. We don't want that hitting. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. We're just gonna run it right about there. Um, I will probably get that attached there later. Um, but like I said, we've gotta attach it downstairs anyways. Uh, which is what we'll do next, but to do that, we're going to have to lift it up, get that wheel off, you know, run it to the sensor. Uh, I am deleting the factory sensor, I'm just taking it out. Uh, the end of the video, if you stay tuned, I'll probably give you an update and let you know if the check engine light turns on. I don't think it will find out uh, 
But let's get this jacked up. All right. We need to get up in here and get, I don't know if you'll be able to see with my arm in the way, right? No. Uh, here, let me see if I can just do it on the camera. That sensor right there, that's the one we need to get. So, uh, need to get that plug unplugged, which ought to be. Okay. Yeah. Now you can probably see, I just unplugged that one. Um, here, let me see if I can just get this light up in there a little better. Oop, 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 no, don't drop it. Oop. There we go. Nope, it's in the way of the camera. There you go. Now you can see that sensor right there. Yep, gotta get that out. Um, I don't have a clue what it is. Maybe a 22. Don't know. We'll go find out real quick. All right, <clears throat> I got it out. Um, I don't think I have the right size. This uh, this thing. I don't remember what it was for. I think it was for stuff like this. Um, it's an inch and sixteenth inch and I don't. Know. Yeah, inch and one sixteenth. It don't fit in it. This is an inch and one sixteenth, and it's a little loose. Um, twenty four doesn't fit. My guess is it's twenty six. But a star inch and sixteenths got it out. A little, little loose, like I said. Whatever. It's out of there. So um, at this point, we need to get uh, this stuff and the other stuff, which is man, I hate when the light does that. In here, this is the other stuff that comes with it. Um, hopefully, one of them fits that thread. So, I'll look real quick. All right. See, Ben, this stuff kind of matches. That's what came with the gauge. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like the threads fit inside the thread. Okay. Um, does this have the thing in it? Or is that why it's out here? Yeah. That's what needs to go in it. Um, I don't usually put thread locker and stuff on stuff like this. Uh, it is tapered, you know, it's like this. So, tired you go. Better seals kind of thing. Um, looks like all this is going to work. So, we need to get this in there. So, we need a socket for it, I guess. It looks to be an 11. Got it. This. And I'm going to go ahead and just put that in there because, you know, you can't see under there with me. That's, there's not enough room. So, it's pretty simple. I'm going to feed that into the car. I'm going to get the copper line to it, put that on the copper line, put the copper line on it. Okay. All right, so we got our threaded on there. Um, it's the same thread pitch, but it's a little bit bigger to start with. It's not as small to start. Uh, so it's a little bit of a pain to get started and get going in there. Uh, I think it'll be all right. We'll check for leaks, obviously. Um, my copper lines, probably hardly see it, but it's up here. So we're gonna try to get that straightened and, you know, Gotta go from there to to there and not touch the power right here. Um, which I do recommend you disconnect the battery when you do this because you know you don't want to be touching your wrenches on that right there. It'll you know. Uh, but 
I am now going to figure out how to get that under, round, and then there. And again, I don't know if you can tell, but, you know, that's, that's how much room I got in here. So, I don't think I should tape it because you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing. So, all right. So, we got the line ran. Um, I looped it back and attached it to this electrical bump here. Uh, I actually didn't cut this line at all. That's I just left the excess there. Um, so, basically about perfectly fit. Um, also, I don't think you can see down there, but I zip tied it to electrical here. Obviously, you've seen the rest of it. Uh, like I said, you really don't want that stuff chafing you know that lighting i'm telling you you don't really want that stuff chafing um rubbing on stuff you know try to attach it somewhere um gauge is attached inside this thing is on a heck of a tilt on a jack um but you know might as well try starting it we got enough that Green's not waking up. I don't know if it uh, leaks, right? Or at least you know, starts this up there. I have no clue what kind of low pressure I'm going to have. That's part of the reason I'm doing this. check for leaks. I doubt it's leaking behind the dash. I doubt it's leaking at all or we wouldn't have much for oil pressure. kick this off obviously because the garage is closed. Oh can't reach over the window. Uh also we should probably it looked like it had a little bit of oil in it but I also sprayed a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? No you dry back here so that side's good other side it's questionable um i'm gonna spray it down with some you can tell i'm hot i'm exhausted at this point yeah this tired me out anyway uh, probably gonna spray some cleaner on that and watch it for a minute see if it's actually leaking but you probably can't hear me during it running so let you know. Well, she looks clean. Made it running for a minute and it ain't got nothing. Yeah. Oh. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, you might have got something on it. Yeah. A little better. Anyway, doesn't look like it's dripping. So, we're good. Sorry. Oh. Looks like we got that done. Um, I'm gonna drive it for a couple days and then I'll put it into this video um, whether or not it throws a check engine light for your gauge like I said I don't believe it will uh, but yeah um, I may or may not 
run the electrical for the light uh, it's pretty simple it's positive negative you want it to run to something with the when the ignition is on and shuts off when the car shuts off you can run it into the non-constant on the back of your radio that would probably be the easiest uh, I don't have electrical wire right now I wasn't even worried about it I don't need it to light up my you know for the most part my driving's during the day uh, except for early morning it'll be fine um, but again I'll get back to you at the end of this video once I know it's not gonna freak the car out let you know I do the outro then you yeah. know so catch you in a well for you to be in, in a minute yep all right so it's been about a week um, I don't have any leaks that I know of um, but some vehicles have a uh, oil pressure sensor and a sender unit one sends to the gauge one sends to ECU I don't think this has both on it um, regardless I haven't had any check engine lights no worries um, obviously Obviously, you've seen the oil pressure gauge. The new one works. Weird part is, as far as I can figure, there's only one sensor, and let's see if you can see this. It's, this is the oil pressure gauge. So, that's about the car started. kind of weird it still works especially without the car running so I don't know what's going on with that but that ain't right um, this is after I drive like 43 miles home that's after driving 43 miles so yeah got good oil pressure oh shut that off um, but seems everything works I don't have any check engine lights gauge still works it kind of slowly goes down when you shut the car off anybody knows what that's about I would like to know because that you know being unplugged there's not even a sensor under the hood it's literally the plugs are just hanging there so that shouldn't work don't know like I said if any of you know what's going on there I'd like to know in the comments uh, but anyways I think I'm gonna cut the video here uh, if you would, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one.